Okay, ask. Uh, sorry. Good, good yeah. So, you said in your lecture that God doesn't have a son and it's a big derogatory to him to ascribe a son to him. And you even said um, how people should react if how people should react if um, something derogatory is said to probably our parents. Uh, but I want to go into first of all the clarity about God having a son or not. And I discovered from checking the Quran, Quran does not Quran. Maybe we'll pick it one after the other to see some of the things that Quran says. And um, be able to say, like Quran chapter 30, 39, verse 4. I want to read it here, but anybody can also read it. Quran chapter 39, verse 4. I can't hear the last part. What did you say Quran says? Quran chapter 39. Quran chapter 39. Verse 4. Verse 4. What does it say? Okay, it's saying there, if Allah had wanted to have to take his, himself a son, he could have choose anyone he wants out of those who he created. Glory be to him. I can't hear you. Okay, maybe you could read it out for me. Okay. Quran chapter 39, verse 4. Verse 4, yes? So, will you read it? Yes. I want you to read it. You maybe want to read? You, you said you can't hear me, so maybe you should read it. Yes. Okay. Quran chapter 39, verse 4. If Allah had wanted to take himself a son or have a son, he could have chose anyone he wanted out of those whom he created. Glory be to him that he, have, he should have a son. Now, that's my beginning. From this Quranic verse, it is clear that Allah could choose to have a son. Ah, Okay, I'll give the reply. That's the question? No, that's not my question. That's the What's your problem. question? Tell me. Uh, this is a beautiful you are question. misinterpreting the Quran. What's the question? Tell me, I will tell you. Okay. So This verse doesn't mean that Allah can choose. I will tell you. Okay, good. You ask your question, I will listen. What's yes. your question? There are many Quranic verses I want to use to build up the question so that you can answer it clearly. What's your question? Good. The question is, can Allah have a son? And when we look at what the Quran itself is saying, the first one is that it's saying that if Allah wants to have a son, he can decide to have a son. That is number one. Number two is now that um, he said that in Quran chapter 6, verse 101, 101, Quran chapter 6, verse 101, he said, He is the, is the originator of heavens and earth. How could he have a child when he had no mate? He created all things and had perfect knowledge. Of everything. Now, Quran, I don't know if I should continue. Should I continue? Yes, sir. Okay. What's so, the question? Yes. Quran chapter 6, verse 101 is saying that if Allah choose to have a wife, who is going to be the partner? Because he doesn't have a partner. But Quran chapter 19, Surat al Imran, I. Uh, 2021. The same thing is a question that Mary, Miriam, asked the angel who actually came from verse 17. Allah shows that he came in the respect, in the appearance of a man in all respect and dialogue with him and tell him that you have a son. And he said, how can I have a son without, a, without okay. knowing anybody? I got a question. So, he was able to have a, she was able to have a son without an husband. So in Quran chapter 6, verse 101, that is also possible by Allah. Because Allah said whatever he likes to say. I got a question. Good. So yeah. and but, uh, to continue with that. But, uh, the, the first verse was which? The first Quranic verse was which? Sir? The first Quranic verse. Yes, I've not finished the first one. No, no. What was the reference? The, reference. Quran chapter, the first one. Quran chapter 39, verse 4. Okay, fine. I got it. The brother has quoted two verses. He has quoted Surah Zumur chapter 39, verse number 4. And Surah Anam chapter 6, verse number 101. And Surah Zumur chapter 39, verse number 4 says, If Allah had intended to take a son, 
he could have chosen from what he creates whatever he will exalted is he he is allah the one and prevailing now the brother is asking a question this means if allah wants he can take a son and similar in surah anam chapter 6 verse 101 so brother is saying that allah can take a son if he wishes that's the question okay but the verse is very clear if yes now, but it does not it is not befitting for allah to have a son complete the full verse if you read this context it says in the in the first verse unquestionably for allah is the pure religion and those who take protector say we only worship them who may bring us nearer to allah allah will judge between concerning them indeed allah does not guide who is a liar and a disbeliever read in context don't read out of context so allah is saying these people are liars and disbelievers then allah says if allah had intended that means allah does not intend to take a son it's a telling so read the context it says unquestionably for allah is the pure religion allah does not guide who is a liar and a disbeliever then the next verse starts so don't quote out of context correct if you go in context you come to know allah is telling all those people who say allah is allah is a son etc they are liars and then allah says if allah had intended to take a son he could have chosen from what he creates whatever he will exalted is he that means he is far above having a son okay so this let me complete you ask the question now listen to my answer don't interrupt understand yes, you you don't understand the quran you are like saying they are liars what you are doing you are taking a verse from the quran out of context and trying to misguide in context it says that this is all nonsense these people are liars and even the next verse so from here we come to know if allah wanted he could have done allah far superior than this then coming to your next verse of surah anam chapter number 6 verse number 101 it says he is the originator of the heavens and the earth how could he have a son when he does not have a companion the quran says how can allah have a son when he doesn't have a wife allah is giving the answer how can allah have a son when he doesn't have a companion and he's created all things when he's created all things he doesn't require a companion we were created he is uncreated so allah is saying how will allah have a son when he does not have a companion he created everything so this verse is very explicit allah cannot have a son there is another verse in the quran which says if allah had a son i would be the first person to bow quran says if anyone says allah has a son tell them i'll be the first person to worship him that doesn't mean allah has a son there is a verse in the quran that if allah had a son tell them i would be the first person to worship him that means allah cannot beget a son lam yulad walam yulad the whole quran should be read together you can't take out of context quran is very clear cut in surah ikhlas chapter number 112 verse number 1 to 4 which says qul huwa allahu ahad say he is allah one and only allah is samad allah the eternal and absolute lam yulad walam yulad he begets not nor is begotten walam yakul lahu kuffan ad nothing like him so this is the definition of allah first you have to know the definition of allah and then try and read the other verses of the quran you can't read out of context and try and misguide the people allah is telling in this world there are people who are liars who will say this okay so let me finish what okay you ask the question you have listen to my answer this is no debate session I want you to just clarify. I have not finished the answer. With the Quran I have 19, not finished the answer. Verse 9 verse 20 to 21. I have not finished the answer. Okay sir, continue sir. Do you understand English? Continue sir. I understand why not. <laughs> I do understand. English. You can hear me, I cannot hear you because the speakers are there. Oh, sorry. Correct? So let me finish the answer. Okay. Sir. So the definition of Allah is in surah Ikhlas chapter number 112 verse number 1 to 4 which says, "Qul huwa Allahu ahad." say is allah one only you cannot get me also okay this was the quran says that allah is two then there will be a contradiction and there is no contradiction in the quran allah says in surah nisa chapter 4 verse 
فلا يتدبروا القران ولو كان من عند غير الله لو جد في اختلاف كثيره do they not consider the quran with k had it been from anyone besides allah there have been contradictions so number one there is no contradiction in the quran so you assuming that allah can is nonsense it says if allah wanted the if allah doesn't have a companion how can he have a son that does not mean that he has a son now coming to your question of surah maryam in surah maryam chapter number 19 when archangel gabriel comes and ask mother mary money mary salam you shall have a son she replies how shall i have a son when no man has touched me how shall i have a son when no man has touched me the reply given by angel gabriel is wa iza qada amran fa inna ma yaqul kun fa yaqul if allah decrees a matter he just says be and it is so when she says normally yes for having a son you have to procreate for having a son you have to procreate but the reply given by the akhir if allah decrees if allah wills but allah does not will allah can create adam alayhi salam without father and mother he created eve with a man without a female he created isa alayhi salam with a mother without a father wa iza qada amran fa inna ma yaqul kun fa yaqul if allah decrees a matter he will but allah will not decree ungodly thing like becoming a human being like having a son that's for human beings it allah cannot go against his definition you understand if allah decrees a matter yes but did allah say that no allah says lam yalad wa lam yulad he begets not knowing the begotten so this is the definition of allah the moment he begets he ceases to be god the moment allah has a son he will cease to be god do you understand if if the definition of god in the quran is allah does not beget he begets not nor is he begotten the moment you say allah begot a son he ceases to be god do you understand can i ask a question on that do you understand this but if allah begets a son he ceases to be god do you understand this that quran chapter 39 quran chapter 39 verse 4 we negate that statement if he intended he did if it's a question for example it is a sarcastic question for example it's a rhetoric for rhetoric if allah had a son i would be the first to bow that doesn't mean allah has that's a rhetoric if you are correct i will give you a million dollar but you're not correct so if doesn't mean it is correct you understand na if allah had a son i would be the first to worship him allah doesn't have a son so you don't understand english correctly because you don't understand english correctly you are trying to say something and quoting out of context first of all you quote a verse out of context if you quote a verse out of context it will misguide the people i got the correct context do you understand do you understand that you quoted out of context yes or no if you want me to quote it from the uh, from the beginning i can quote it it doesn't Sorry? matter if you want me to quote it from the beginning like from you have to earlier you have to I can we did not okay that's not a problem you did a mistake uh, uh, okay that's you did a mistake a mistake yes you have to problem. apologize <laughs> okay you know, if i say you know quran says jesus is god say do again. you know that quran says jesus is god okay do you know that out of context okay uh, i wait 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 Quran says in Surah Maida chapter 5 verse number 17 no full context laqad kafara alladhina qalu inna allah huwa al-masih ibn marima they are doing kufr those who say jesus is god yes i agree so jesus is god is there in the quran but out of context the context is they are blaspheming they are blaspheming those who say jesus is god yes. they are blaspheming that's for me not blasphemy Why not? What is blasphemy? Is to ascribe even according to Islam is to ascribe another god to god. So if you say if you quote out of context it is devilish. Okay. If you did it purposely it is devilish. Okay. So, so you have to always quote in context you can't just quote half. Now your question is over. No. For next I already answered your question. I, no wait. I, Don't yes. say no. You get three references of the Quran. I'm saying you I get three references of the Quran. Yes, 
Surah Zumur chapter 39 verse number 4. Surah Anam Surah 6 chapter 6 verse number 101. No, that's not the And Surah Maryam chapter number 19. I answered all those three. I have not finished on that. I was still quoting when you decided you to cannot, answer this. This is not a debating section. If you want yes. to debate, you hire a hall. I will send my student to debate you. No debate. No debate. It's a question answer Can session. Add the last verse. Quran chapter 21 verse This is a question answer session. You have that, to go beyond the queue. That the question. Quran chapter 21 verse 91. And Which one? Quran chapter 21, verse 91. 21, 91. Yes. And my question, to conclude that number one question, which I've Okay, this answer, is the last, this is the last reference I'm giving. It's just 21, 91. Okay, what yes. does it say? Now, he's saying there that, alas... Do you agree that you made a mistake in the first two verses? Say yes. Say Otherwise, yes. I, the answer I gave. Now, are you convinced that the first two verses doesn't say that Allah can have a son? Do you agree or not? He said if he wants to have a son. If doesn't mean, if I say, if you are right, I will give you a million dollars. Does it mean you are right? That means it's not if you I to decide. It's not me to are... decide. It's Allah to decide. If That's Allah right. wait, listen, wants. Listen, wait, wait, not wait, me, not wait, wait, wait. Not anybody. Don't talk when I'm talking. Wait, wait. Don't talk when I'm talking. No Do you understand English? Why not, sir? Do you understand English? Okay. Why not? I'm speaking English. I think you can't understand English. I understand. Then why are you breaking the rules? In question and session, you cannot interrupt. You cannot talk in between. Do you know that? Because I've you cannot. The list you know, of the again, you're talking. Okay. Is this a debate or is it a question and session? It's a question, sir. So once you ask a question, you have to keep quiet. Okay. Thank you. You Christian missionaries. You are a Christian missionary. I mean, what? Are you a Christian missionary? I'm a Christian. I'm a Christian. Ah. I'm a Christian. Are you a Christian missionary? I'm a Christian. Are you a missionary? I'm a Christian. I'm just Are you a, a father or a pastor? Say that again. Are you a father or a pastor or a... No, I'm a Christian. Oh, you're afraid to tell your identity. Okay. You told 21, 21, 91. Yes. I, I've only quoted the verse. I've not said my question in it. So if you permit me to say my question so that you can explain it. Quran chapter 21 verse 91. So my question there is it, and it's in that build up of that other questions, is that from that verse, Allah said he's the one who sent his angel Jibreel to go and breathe his spirit into the private part of Mary. Now, I, I looking at it, even humanly speaking, that if I do anything to the private part of a woman, Anything that comes out of it, I am responsible for it. Now, if it is Allah, the saint is angel to take his spirit and breathe it into the Mary, then Allah is responsible for that child. And that child is, is, is son of Allah. Likewise, like if I did that to a woman, is my son. Okay. Did you understand my first two answers, yes or no? I'll, yes, yes. I will give this answer. Thank you. So, first two answers you understood. I understand. That you were wrong. I None? understand. I understand. You understand. Very good. So, first two answers is agree that Allah. Now I'm coming to the last. Now you don't reply back, please. This is a question answer session. He did not tell the verse. The verse of the Quran of Surah Ambiya, chapter 21, verse number 91 says, and mentioned the one who guarded her chastity. So, we blew into a garment through our angel Gabriel and we made her and a son a sign for the worlds. He is saying that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has blown his spirit into Isa alayhi salam. Correct? Yes sir. I agree with it. Do you know Allah says in the Quran in Surah Hijar chapter 15 verse 29 Allah blew the spirit into every human being. Quran says Does it mean I'm God? Does it mean you are God? You don't understand the Quran. Allah says in Surah Hijar chapter 15 verse 29, Allah has blown the spirit into every human being. Allah says in Surah Sajda chapter 32 verse number 9, he's blow Here, blowing spirit means Allah has put his knowledge into every human being, including Isa alayhi salam. Now the problem is you read one verse, you don't read the full Quran. Have you read the full Quran? Have you read the full Quran? Have you read the full Quran cover to cover? Have you read the full Quran? As much as I can. 
Ah, as much as I can, he could do only five verses. No. Or ten verses. No. As much as I can means what? You are afraid to tell that, sorry, I have not read the complete Quran. This is time to beat around the bush. Now, please don't answer. Your question is over. I've already answered your question. I only answered your question. Now don't talk. I'm completing the answer. This brother came to deceive the people. As much as I can. He's afraid to say, I read 100 verses or 200 verses or 1000 verses. As much as I can. These are the ways the Christian mysteries, they try and attack. Good example a brother has given here. How I give in my talk, they come and knock at the doors. Now normal Muslim would have got scared. Quoting verse out of the context. This is a very good example you have in Nigeria. This brother is coming here trying to deceive the Muslim audience. Trying to deceive the Muslim audience. The first two he agreed. Do you agree that the Quran says Allah has borne the spirit in every human being? So every human being is God, according to you. He breathed the spirit to Mary in a private part. To all human beings, he just breathed. That is what the Quran says. Quran chapter 21, verse 91. Every, everybody can read it. Quran chapter 21, Go and verse sit. 21. Go, don't waste your time. Go and sit down. Go okay, and waste your time. Sir. You don't want to give the answer. You're afraid. You're afraid to say that I did not read the Quran as much as I can. You are trying to go on the internet, pick up verses of the Quran out of context and trying to deceive the people. When you want to read the Quran, read the complete Quran. Read the complete Quran and then say that the reason they pick up verses, they are being trained. They are being trained by missionaries how to ask questions out of context.